this probably isn't going to be the most exciting rehouse, um, but you know, you never know. Um, this is my Kilobrachis fimbriatus. It's been in this little baseball cube um, right here since I got it back in August. And it's webbed up pretty well in here. Right now it's hiding. And I thought that maybe I could get it out the same way that I did the H Gigas by plugging some of the holes and um, getting it out to come out one hole, but that's not the case. It seems that it has a little burrow inside of this cluster of webbing. And so, you know, really to disturb it the least amount possible, I'm just going to try to pick up this entire ball of webbing and place it over the new burrow that I've made. So, Kilobrachis fimbriatus is inside of here, and that's how easy that rehouse was. <laughs> I know that isn't very exciting, but I really don't want to upset the tarantula if I can help it, and I think that that was just the easiest way to do it without causing a lot of uh, grief and having it uh, bolt. And this one does, does tend to be very shy, so just let it be inside of its um, little tent. And it has a, a burrow that you could see that I made in the leaves right beneath um, where I've placed its tent. And so it's gonna feel like, hey, I'm still in my home, but wait, I have more room. So I think that, to me personally, was the best way to rehouse this tarantula and the least amount of stress for the tarantula and for myself. So I just wanted to show you the old enclosure um, and what has happened in here is the Kilobrachis fibriatus, the Indian violet sling that I had in here has made its own little pathway all the way around and most of the substrate was pushed up into the center and it had a plant and it also took substrate and just pushed all of that substrate up into the webbing almost like a, a funnel and then it was just on the bare dirt in the bottom with its tunnels and it had like four openings so really the whole container had become its um, enclosure at this point and I just feel you know give it more room at this time um, let it have more room to dig. Just felt like it was the right time to do that. Um, this one I got when it was an inch and that was on um, August 8th from Palp Friction. And uh, now it's uh, in its new enclosure and probably won't need a rehouse for a while. This is one of the Hobby Lobby baseball um, cubes. And this one is inside um, this bark here. Now, it's very possible that I might be able to just pick up the bark and place the, the bark into the new enclosure. And if that's the case, um, just like I did with my Kilobrachis fimbriatus that I um, rehoused, I would really prefer to just be able to do that. I know that's not as exciting for you, but I think that it's a lot less exciting for the tarantula, which is, to me, that's a good thing. I just don't want to upset them. Just have them think that every time this happens, um, in case they do think this, that it's just going to be a big traumatic event and that they have to defend themselves. So we didn't even see the OBT. That was very exciting, wasn't it? Got these little entrances inside this cork bark. You can see the tarantula just wants to hide. 
doesn't really want to come out and be bothered and just wants to be in its home and feel safe. So as long as I feel that I know that, if I can somehow transfer part of its home, then I will. There could be some circumstances where I need to completely rehome it and, uh, you know, get it out of all of its substrate, but this is not the case here. I'm going to get a water dish and put that in here and then we will be done. And I'm going to make a label for this one and it's done. If you would like to know where the OBT is, so during the entire um, rehouse it was just curled up um, in kind of a scared posture inside of here. This is an entrance to its burrow that goes straight through. So it was um, solidly in the middle of its cork bark hide safely and I have checked on it. Everything is good. So there you go.